All right, I have a uh, antenna review today. Actually, two antennas. Uh, so these were sent into the channel by uh, uh, Jensung Tong. They're not a sponsor, they just send me stuff. Um, so we'll be taking a look at these two antennas. Uh, this one is uh, tall. It, it's, uh, I guess I can measure these things. Let's see here, give you an idea of how tall they are. Uh, so this one is 400 millimeters and this one is 200 millimeters, okay? Um, and uh, this one, they, so they're both on, uh, they're both on magnetic bases, okay? So you need to put them onto something metal. They're going to be uh, ground plane uh, antennas. And uh, this one is listed as a uh, 8 dBi, uh, 915 megahertz hotspot antenna. Um, and so uh, it has a, uh, a bend on it. So I guess you can put it on something uh, vertical and then you can bend it up. So that's kind of nice. You can have more options to bend this around. And the antenna itself is uh, SMA male and the base is an SMA female. Okay. And uh, there's these little bulges in here, but they're not, they don't do anything. I think they're just over molded. There's, it, it's probably a coaxial uh, design like, like that other one I showed before. Uh, it's probably just segmented of uh, different sections here of uh, different, uh, different stubs. And uh, then this one's a little short little guy. And he is listed as a 868 to 915 megahertz Again, hotspot antenna, Loreth type thing. This antenna is very strange. I've never seen antenna much like this before. Again, it's a um, magnetic mount. Um, both of these come with very long. Oops, both of these come with very long cables. They come with eight eight foot long cables, and they're terminated on the other end with SMA male. Um, but this one is very very odd. Uh, if I take this off. Uh, there's just a stud here, like an M M5 stud, and uh, this piece here is solid brass. I mean, this is a weapon. <laughs> um, it's just solid brass. There's nothing else to it. It's just a hunk of brass, and it's super heavy. I mean, this thing's, like I said, it's like a weapon. Um, so I've never seen an antenna constructed this way. Now, a lot of times, especially at high frequency and stuff, um, you have a large conductor uh, on your antenna and that will broaden the wavelength range that the antenna will operate on. It will make it a little bit broader than having a thin antenna. So um, yeah, pretty weird. It necks down a bit here when it attaches, but I've never seen anything like this before. So I'm really curious to put it on the VNA and sweep these both out. Um, so they're both, um, this one's supposed to be 915 and below and this one's supposed to be 915. So. Yeah, let's go, uh, let's go try them out. So I think what we'll do is, uh, let me, let me set up the VNA. Uh, I think I'll do a sweep of 500 megahertz and up. So we'll do a start frequency of 500 megahertz. So we'll go from 500 megahertz to 1.3 gigahertz. I think that will be a good range for these antennas. Uh, so the first thing we need to do is calibrate. And we want to do a reflection measurement. So we will do a one part calibration. Uh, open. Where's my wrench? And short. Load. Okay, and uh, let's hook up an antenna. So the first one we'll hook up is the uh, long antenna. See how it does. And we are getting 
we're getting a dip and we're getting us some wiggly. So I think those wigglies probably mean the, maybe the coax isn't exactly 50 ohms. Um, so let's turn on a marker and find out where that dip is. Oh, there we go. So it's right at 915. So here's, well, I'll type it in, 915 megahertz. So that's the marker at 915. So it's doing okay. Let's go ahead and change the format to uh, SWR. And you can see that at 915, we're pretty well matched. So let's see here, let's move the marker over. Let's go over here to one, maybe 1.4 to one. It's 850. And on the other side, 1.4 to one, it's around 950. So 850 to 950. This Santana is very broadband, 850 to 950. And it has some wiggles in it. And like I say, I think that's probably a mismatch of the, uh, I'm grabbing the, uh, I'm grabbing the coax to see if I can modify the SWR or the, you know, the outside. Yeah, it's hard to say. But anyway, I think that's probably, probably a mismatch of the cable. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to display and I'm going to, oops, let's see here. Data to memory, data, oh, I don't want data over memory. I want data and memory. There we go. That's what I want. So I'm going to disconnect this antenna, but it's, it's going to remember it. I've stored that in memory, okay? So we can compare it to the other antenna, because they're supposed to be basically the same type of antenna. So let's put the short, this is the little short antenna that was solid brass. And yeah, we're getting a different... Uh, we're definitely getting different uh, wavelengths here. So it is not a 915. So let's turn the marker on here. It's very best around uh, 1.05 gigahertz. So much higher frequency. So this is, this is a mis mislabeled antenna. I would call this a 975 to Uh, 994. So 075 to 094. Um, so very, very different antenna. Um, wow. So I'm not sure exactly uh, if the seller knows this or not, uh, but he does now. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it's definitely uh, the higher band. I don't remember which band that is. I think it's 10.8 10 10 or some. I forget. Um, but it, it would work for that higher band but certainly not a, nine, a 915. It's definitely not a 915 uh, megahertz. So let's see here. Let's go to log mag again. We'll both, yeah, the both will go down. And let me do a scale of uh, five and a reference position. We'll move these up a bit. And there you can see them in log mag. Um, yeah. Definitely not quite the right uh, scale. Let's see, marker. This one, it's dip is dip is a uh, one zero five six, and the other one I can't get to because it's not the one being displayed yet. But it's over here. We we already saw that one. Um, yeah, there you go. Um, what do these look like on a Smith chart, just for fun? <laughs> uh, oh yeah. Uh, it's not very useful. <laughs> All right, there you go. The two antennas are very different, and uh, the short antenna looks like it's mismarked. Um, but that's my review.